Well, hey, beat lovers. Beef Nerd 52 here. Welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls. Right now, we are going to level ourselves up a bit. And now, since we can teleport. Going to I'll first use this. But this guy can eat things. What's up, man? Heavens, you have done it. You have retrieved the Lord Vessel. I did. After a thousand years, it is you. It is really you. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Forgive me. I really should calm down. Now, just take that vessel <laughs> Jesus, ma'am. I assume that you are ready. Now, be still. Be still? Be still for what? What are you about to do? Well, you better not fuck with me. You got that. <laughs> You fucking suck, man. You need to give me like some warning next time. That fucking that smelled awful. This is the fire leak chamber. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk to you. I was just carrying that the whole time. Shoot that laser. I'm a fire in my laser. Oh. This unlocks that place I haven't been to. That place I haven't been to. That place I haven't been to. What? What? Okay. All right, that's all. I did it. Very well. As King Seeker, I shall now instruct you, the Lord's successor, in your next task. To achieve your fate, fill the vessel with powerful souls. Commensurate to the great soul of Gwyn. Scarce few possess such brilliant souls. Grave Lord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, the four kings of New Londo, who inherited the shards of Gwyn's soul, and Lord Gwyn's former confidant, Seath the Scaleless. All of their souls are required to satiate the Lord Vessel. Okay. Are you ready? Then we shall return. Stay still for a moment. Oh, dude, you better not fucking eat me again. You know I can just teleport around a bonfire, so you better not fucking do it! If I could kill you, I would. Oh shit. He's gone. I don't know where he went off to. But we gotta go down this way to get to uh <sighs> We're going this way. There, there, there's a few things we gotta do over in um, Blight Town and the Demon Ruins. But first.
It's the crestfallen knight. He's gone hollow. He couldn't handle all of the people being a firelink shrine. And you can see his face has changed too. His eyes are black and he's got that beef jerky skin. He's hollow, reducing him to nothing but that. Poor guy. We never really liked him anyways, but... You know, hollowing is not fun. You lose yourself completely. When you hollow, you basically give up. That's it. The, the idea is, uh... In this game, you'll never go hollow. I mean, like, you'll, you'll become hollow by dying, but, like, you'll never go hollow unless you, like, uninstall the game. Unless you give up. Which I think is kind of cool. And it makes sense to the characters, too, because in a sense, they're giving up. Or some something's happened to them that's twisted their brains and make them think, like, okay, that's it. There's no reason to go on. I don't have any, uh, purple moss, do I? That's okay, I gotta go check something out on the other side of here real quick. Ah, there's a there's a secret place I wanna get to. A secret spot in the map. BOW! Who the fuck is that? That's not I think that's I think that's him. I'll have to go check that out in a second. I think that's- I think it is- it's Latrian, right? That's his name? I'm always bad at remembering his name. He's got his Pyromancer flame out. Yeah, that's totally him. What's he doing over there? Hey, what are you- oh, shit. Oh, fuck. He's gone hollow. I guess... I guess the idea was, uh... Came down to look for the pyromancies, he couldn't handle it. Which made him hollow. Okay, he was a cool guy. He, he was always chipper and wanted the best for us, and uh, if we hadn't told him to come down here. You know, maybe he'd still be alive. That's cool. But whatever. Go back on to what I was originally doing. Fuck. Okay. That wall looks different compared to the rest of the walls, doesn't it? 
Yeah. Now, this wall looks different than the rest of the walls, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, I'm going to have to come all the way back down. Or can I teleport to here? I always forget if I can teleport to this bonfire or not. I hope I can. If not, I can just run across, uh... <coughs> run across Blight Town again to get back here. Because it's a really long way down that tree. And there's other things I need to do in Blight Town, so... Now, if I had Dark Souls 1 and not Dark Souls Remastered, I'd be lagging to high hell here. No! 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 Uh, I actually need to do something that's pretty crazy. I might as well take my helmet off now. So, that guy I was trying to get pyromancies from, uh, over by the fair lady, turns out, uh, you can't buy pyromancies from him unless you have the same egg sacs on your head as he does on his back, and the only way to get those egg sacs is to, like, let an enemy attack you. So, we, I have to go find the specific area. Um, Maneater Mildred is not invading me because I already killed the boss of the area. That's right. That makes sense. I was like, why hasn't Mildred invaded me yet? It's because she can't. What level is this? Okay, she's not here yet. There is, um, yeah, there's the NPC that spawns here when your pyromancy flames at level 10. I'm almost there. I have enough. It costs 12,000 if I remember correctly. This guy will not get off of me. My favorite thing about doing miracle runs in this game, or miracle builds in this game, is, uh... That usually means you want to get, like, every miracle you can. And one of the miracles is called Homeward. Which is just, uh... It's just a Homeward Bone as a, as a spell. Which is like, holy shit. That's so useful. <laughs> I don't have to keep using these Homeward Bones. Uh, am I gonna die? I don't think I am. Yeah, I'm good. Demon ruins, baby. We need to find the ones that are moving. Those are the ones that will attack us. Yep, there's one. Well, I don't need two, so... No. No! I killed both of them. These guys are the worst. These guys are the worst to fight. I'm gonna fucking die. Oh. Uh... I really thought it was gonna lock onto the worms that were inside that dude, and it didn't.
Okay, that's all those worms. Sick. Okay, he has to do the grab attack. Yeah. There it is. That that little animation where it looks like he hits you. Boop. Right there. That means he just infected you. Now, at some point, you're going to see my my character is going to be scratching his head. Oh, that was the right attack. Okay. Oh, I need to be at a different angle. Come on. Okay, he's not grabbing me anymore. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. But the, the, uh, the egg will hatch in time. Usually you know you're infected when the character starts scratching their head, but he's not doing it yet. Which isn't necessarily bad. It might just mean I not, might not be that infected, you know? The reason why I kept letting it grab me is because the more times it grabs you and bites you, the faster the infection uh, uh, happens. Could not think of the word happens for some reason. What's up, man? How you doing? You look like you're in pain. Oh my god. Scratch your dumbass head. Thank you. <laughs> oh, he did not like that. He's not too bad to fight, like, actually fight him, but, uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do what the devs intended for me to do. Oh, I can't leave. It's okay. We'll just push him off this ledge. Yeah! I fucked that loser up. As the lava dissipates, some of it, I guess, some of it dissipates. Yeah, that's, that's cool that my head's itchy. That means, uh, that, that thing is going to be spawned in here soon. I'm scratching a few times. One of the downsides to the parasite being on your head is while it's there, you get, I think, I think you get half of the souls you would usually get, kind of acting like, um, a soul sucker, but it gives you, like, a, a, a special attack. I forgot how to do it. 
but uh, it was like basically how you how you do it is the the worm would pop out of the egg sack and bite the enemy, and if you were doing PvP and you bit another player with the worm, you could infect them in PvP, and then when they go back to their world, they could have the infection, and then the fucking egg will pop up, and it'll fuck them over. It's, um, I think it's really funny. So, man. So, there, there is a way to get rid of the egg on your head. But I'll, I'll say what it is in a second. There we go. What's up, man? Well, now, you're just like me. Your dedication is fully apparent. Only, well, your head looks awful. Why not try this? I've no use for it any longer. Thank you. That's what you use. Oh, hello. What is it that you need? Pyromancy's my boy. Um, toxic mist would be better. Now we got somewhere we gotta be. It's gonna be really quick. Oh shit. I wish it's only one cast. Poison Mist has three casts. If I, if I remember correctly, Poison Mist has three casts. So it'd be much better if I had that. I'll use Toxic Mist first to see if it works, and if it doesn't, that's okay. Because that, that means I got Poison Mist to back it up. I'm basically, uh, I have to kill an enemy through a wall, and... Usually, as, as as you guys saw when we were back in Lower Undeadburg, I could just hit people through the doors and stuff. But this enemy is too far away from the wall for me to hit it. But it's still close enough to be hit by mist attacks. So I'm going to be casting Toxic Mist at it in hopes that it uh, fucking kills it. And if Toxic Mist doesn't kill it, then I can cast Poison Mist, and that will most definitely finish it off. What's up, man? Oh, you're freaking out. Oh, I can't- Oh my god, I rolled out of the way of that! Get out of here! Go fuck yourself. Oh my... It's like fighting the actual fucking boss fight. Do I have enough for a level? I think I do. I think I do. I think I thought I am. Oh, sh shit. Invaded by Kirk. Oh, no. Is 
sometimes I forget Kirk invades you. He's an NPC that likes to invade you when you're in the demon runs. There's, uh, three places he invades you at. And I'm just gonna... Jesus Christ. I'm just trying to get by. Uh, we're not gonna fight that boss fight yet. Luckily, the the enemies are programmed to never enter this building, so we're we're safe once we cross through that uh, walkway. These guys don't attack you; they just run around. They produce sunlight, or light similar to sunlight. Cool. Oh my god. Oh my god, no way. Why is it not working? It's not going through the door. What is happening? Um, this isn't good, like, at all. Uh... Because I've, I've used so many, so many humanities. I don't. I think at this point, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to open the store the other way. Okay, I need to like see a video of this mist going through the door because I just looked it up and it says that's how you do it. Dude, this is really not good, like at all. Why can't I use this? Oh my god, because Kirk invaded me. Okay, that might be it. Because on the other side of that wall is a different map. It c is what's considered a different map. So there's a there's a possibility that uh, there's a fog wall there because they got invaded. Go fuck yourself! Come on, I'm dead. Fucking god, dude! Oh, that's really fucking stupid. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna run all the way back there. He's not gonna invade me this time because I'm not fucking human. But just another reason why I can't give that fair lady the fucking humanities. Keep fucking dying. So cool. Is that guy just humming to himself?
I don't like that at all. Whoa, what do you mean press that? I thought I heard him die. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, dude, come on. Cool. back off. Oh man. Alright, I'm gonna pray this works. Is, is it is it toxic mist or toxic breath? It's toxic mist. Toxic mist and poison mist, but There we go. It was because Kirk invaded me. It was 100% because Kirk invaded me. Let's see if the Toxic Mist gets it. Okay. It said I'll know because it's the one that has more souls than the others. Yeah, I killed it. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Fireball. Fire orb. Oh, whoops, I did not mean to get up. Now, our next move. Oh, what is our next move? Oh, hang on. Am I able to... I'm not. Okay, I do have to run back to the tree. Lame. I might as well just do that now, huh? Sadly, this thing isn't fully upgraded yet, so I can't buy any of the uh, pyromancies from the one pyromancer that spawns here in Blight Town. But I'm sure I will soon. Oh, there is no pyromancies in. <laughs> you can't kill those ghosts. There are no pyromancies in. Uh, side of the tree. I'm just going there because uh, at the end of a character's quest line, you need to be there. And I thought might as well get the warp point now. Where's the where's the title? Oh, okay. It starts with when I want some of the poison. Got you.
Is that a Siegmeyer over there? Shit. Okay. I need to. I need to get some items for him. Oh, I'll, I'll be back here. But I need, I need, to, I need to actually buy items. So. I don't know what just died. I appreciate you for dying, though. Wow. I hated all of that. Okay. Don't do that. Red Titanite Chunk. Now what I need, I need white. They help you with divine weapons. Normal Titanite Chunk. That'll help with my bastard sword. Oh, cool. Basilisks, thank god. I was really hoping for the chance to get cursed, honestly. I, I was like, you know what I really need to be cursed? Um, I'm not going to explain curse if I don't have to. Being cursed fucking sucks, I'll just say that. Uh, try your hardest to never be cursed, ever. If I get cursed, you'll see what happens. If I don't, it'll be a surprise for when you're playing this game and it happens to you. Oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna say a happy surprise. Uh-oh, I fucked myself. Oh god. dead. Oh my god, I didn't die from that fall. Oh, there is a hole with a ladder in it. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, you need to not do that. The only way Basilisk can kill you is uh, cursing you. So as long as you stay out of that fog cloud they have, you should be okay. Ooh, Eye of Death. Yeah, it's, it's, I, they're usually not this low in the tree. They're just all following me and jumping down lower into the tree. Just ahead of me. Aw, cute little mushroom guy. Oh. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do, game. Big guys are really strong, so we're gonna let them be. Excuse me. All oh, their bodies, hold on. Here we are. My 
favorite place in the game. I love this place, mainly because it's one of the only places in the game that has its own backtrack. And to get music in Dark Souls is always awesome. Every song is fantastic. So every time I'm able to listen to Dark Souls music, I'm happy. Hey look, a Hydra. What's up, buddy? Please don't shoot water missiles at me. Like, what did I just say? I gotta hide. Come at me! Come at me! Come at me! You can't fight me! I'm much stronger than you. Jesus Christ. Okay, watch me miss. It really backed up so it could hit me with a water attack. What an asshole. Good job. Come on, stop doing that! Attack me! Stop moving back and forth and just fucking do the thing! Fuck. I'm like doing no damage to this guy. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. This will be the boss fight. There we go, that's one head, finally, Jesus. I think I might have a better luck if I do this. Yeah. Even though I can't see what I'm doing. Wow, he retracted that head really quickly. Or she, I don't know. I didn't hit it? Oh, I did hit it, okay. I was like, come on. It's something. Wow. I didn't hit anything.
Isn't this a fun fight? Isn't this fun to watch? And wouldn't it, dude? Don't you think it would be really fun to play too? Oh my god! Please don't ever do that attack again. Oh, you did it again, you motherfucker! Jesus, finally! Please do a much closer attack. Please do a much, much closer attack. What are you doing? Fucking demon spy. That's not good. Usually yells before it attacks, so I'm feeling pretty safe. Fair. What the fuck? I don't even I don't even know what hit me. Oh, how awesome. How awesome of the game to do that. How awesome of the game to do that. Cut his fucking head off already! I've hit that head like five times! What is that? They ju what they just hit in a place I couldn't reach. That's really annoying. Stop doing that. Thank you God. Oh my god. It doesn't respawn, which is cool. These guys have a chance of dropping purging stones and twinkling titanite. I don't care. Like we, I don't know how much time we have left, but we gotta, you know, about a minute. We gotta get to the end of this. I think we'll do one more boss fight, actually, now that I'm really thinking about it. I think we have enough time for one more boss fight. Let's see here. Can I beat- can I beat the timer to the bonfire? I got 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Damn. I thought I pressed the button, come on. It's- it's a thinny- it's a pretty thin walkway. I can't really look at the phone. level, but that's okay. Uh, 
Uh, this is to join the Great Dragon Covenant, Everlasting Dragon Covenant. I'm not gonna join it, I'm gonna take his tail. He doesn't care though, he really doesn't. Okay. We're gonna fight one more boss, it's gonna be really fun. And then that'll be it. This is like the fourth episode I recorded today. It's almost one in the morning. Definitely gotta call it. Framps taking a nap. You can hear him. <laughs> you can hear him snoring. Oh, I might as well um, buy the items I need. It's uh, three poison moss clumps. And that, that lady in the aqueduct, she sells poison moss clumps, so... I should help a bit. Alright, now it's time to be a ball. Oh, wait, actually, hang on, I can stand up, sorry. It's ball time! Alright, so because you acted like a ball for so long, this uh, giant crow just comes out of nowhere thinking you're one of its eggs and takes you away. Ta -da! <laughs> it's so silly. Anyways, here we back here we are back at the undead asylum. Where we started the game. There's a couple things we gotta do here. We're gonna do them. Oh my fucking god, unless I die, holy shit! Calm it down. Alright, so first things first, we're going to come in here. Kill these guys. Yeah, I thought there was another one. Oh my god, 55 minutes. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to do this the way I want to, but that's okay. Black Knight, right here. See if we can get him. Try me again. Fairy. Looks being dead, fuck out. Next, let's see if we can get Oscars. Oh, he's standing up. That's different. Okay. Oscar is evil now. That's a bummer. Come here, Oscar. Don't do this, man. Don't do this. Why do you have to hollow? Why does the guy who had to save us have to hollow? Come on. You couldn't just fucking be dead? I got my armor because you saved me. Or I got your armor because you saved me because I thought it looked cool. Wow. I got his fucking shield! <laughs> Here I am, full on cosplaying. 
Oscar. Anyways. Oh, shit. care. Right. I'm, being, I'm, being, I'm being a little cocky here. This is what I should be doing. Okay, you see how he threw it at the ground? That's because I locked on. Sometimes locking on is not the way to go. I forgot I have another pyromancy. Great chaos fireball! It's cool because it creates lava underneath the enemy. If I actually fucking hit them, oh my god. Watch my aim be all over the place. One more guy I gotta kill, so I can't celebrate too long. Although I should grab the Titanite slab. I don't know if I'm gonna kill him in time. I'm gonna be real. There's a possibility I don't kill him in time. So I'm just gonna say the outro as I'm killing him. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, because I definitely enjoyed making it. Thank you very much for watching. Like and favorite if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you like beef, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, guys.